Hello, this is Patricia1111 and coming to you with your weekly reading from August 1st to the 7th of 2022 and we'll see who's up next in the reading and we have Sagittarius. So welcome Sagittarius to your reading. Let me just put this here like this. I hope that you're all doing well. Oops. Okay. So I hope you hear me too because I have my Air, uh, Air Pods on. So um, in this reading, wherever that you have Sagittarius in your, in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, you claim it, but if it doesn't, then look at your other uh, placements. Uh, the most basic one is your rising, uh, which is your ascendant sign. The moon is about emotions, Venus is about love and finances. And for those of you walking a different path, the spiritual path, look into your north node. In the reading, Sagittarius, take what's yours and let the rest go. And feel free to swap the energies if you feel that I'm not talking about you. Also, for cuspers that keep asking me if they should be sh uh, they should be seeing both of the signs that they're cups on, it's a yes to get more information. And also, uh, be aware that I could be also talking to a cross watcher, okay? So, let's look at uh, what is your affirmation of the week. And it said here, so for you, uh, Sagittarius, um, it's exceeding expectations. So let go of expectations, number one, because sometimes it could bring you disappointments. But this talks about exceeding expectations, something that you did not see coming, uh, that the universe is, I feel, is, is unfolding for you, something that you planted a lot of seeds out there. And your affirmation is, I soar into excellence. I soar into excellence. I soar into excellence. Uh, the more of you that write this down in the comments below and whatever you want to write down in the comments below, I will choose someone per week and you, I will be sending gifts your way. They could come from uh, cards that I have doubles uh, that I never used. I have crystals, uh, sage. I have many things that I want to uh, um, give out. So there is a contest that is, uh, you know, that we're I'm, I'm doing for all of you here on the collective. OK, so this is your affirmation. And so it is. We'll put it right here all right and let's see what the challenge of the what, what is the challenge or what is the theme uh this week for you the sagittarius oh this card wants to come out the heart chakra so a lot of you get this time, uh, number four in energy is here for you, but it could also be a time where you're healing a lot at this time. Uh, you may be listening to a lot of heart uh, chakra meditations as well. It's about opening your heart. It's about forgiveness. It's about healing from the past. Okay, so I'll leave this here for all of you to see. And now let's get started with your reading. I will do freestyle and uh, freestyle is just, you know, I'll go in how I feel with the cards instead of always doing the same thing over and over again. Okay, let's see what's happening. I'm just gonna... Dear Sagittarius, from August 1st to the 7th. How are you all doing, Sagis? I hope that you're doing well. I want to thank you for all your beautiful comments and all of the love and support that you've been giving me throughout the years uh, that you're here. So let's see what's going on for you, Sedge. Let's see. The recent past. You got the Eight of Swords. Okay. Followed by the Knight of Cups reversed and the Six of Cups. So this is the past or recent past. Uh, right here, I could see that uh, that's why this card came out for you, for the heart chakra. Uh, someone here was not able to offer. Now, this is you or someone else. I don't know. Uh, someone it could be, it doesn't have to be just about love. It could be about friends, family members. Uh, it could be your better half or whatever that took place here. I feel that, uh, uh, you know, you're overthinking about something, um, you know, staying up at night, even though it's an eight of swords, even though I feel that. It's just like feeling trapped in these emotions that you had, uh, overthinking something. There was someone here with, that was not able to offer anything at that time. Uh, and uh, I also feel here that, um, you know, they couldn't extend an invitation or some type of thing. And with the Six of Cups, which I like about it, 
a lot is it tells me here that uh, these connections that you had in the past, uh, you know, these connections or could be like past life or even childhood, there's a sense of moving on from this, okay? There's a sense of, but still, there's a lot of memories of the past here, a lot of memories of the past, okay? So let's look at uh, the current energy for you. energy you got the nine of pentacles the four of wands is sideways so i have to look at it the way it fell okay i'll, I'll go into it in a second and we'll see okay one more card for the current energy okay so and the, the sun came out with the ten of wands upright so let's look at the first card here is the nine of pentacles here it shows me that you have been working on yourself here okay there's a sense of working on yourself you're very independent I also see in the current energy here, okay, what Spirit is telling me is some, okay, I mean, let me just, um, there's a sense of financial security and I feel some of you, not all of you, but this will pertain to some of you, is that you're not grateful for what you have at this moment. Maybe you're not seeing the what you have at this moment. This will not relate to all of you because remember, it's a general reading, but there's someone out there that's going to really understand this, is that you have everything you need here already. Uh, but at the same time, I feel that you're, or you're thinking too much about the past or thinking about too much the future and you're not in the moment to really like, you know, take a, some time off or a day off or even an hour just to be grateful for everything that you have is what is being called. And there's a completion here with the nine. Okay. There's a completion. Now the four of wands is, is sideways and it's good when it comes out sideways because uh, maybe at one point there was a lot of interferences in the home. There was not, there wasn't a lot of happiness in the home, or something was unstable here in the business or home, whatever this is. When it's a, when it it's sideways like that, it means that it's it's gonna come to, okay, like there's a, a pivot point where it's gonna turn, right? But right now it's like, in the middle of something. There's been a lot of disappointments, okay. You've been carrying the world on your shoulders. Um, you're very close. You see, like there's a journey here. There's a home here. If you I don't know if you could tell in the cart, and you're very close to the ending of a chapter that you had to be carrying a lot of stress or burnout. Some of you, you're also feeling burnout. A lot of unhappy times with the sun. Okay, like just like exhausting times here, and the ten does become a one when you reach that point. Okay, because this four of wands has to turn, and when it does, it's like you're going to be relieved of something here so we're going to put this here and now we're going to look in the near future you got the eight of pentacles so you've got number 88 so even the gate lion's gateway which is on the 8h should be special for you <clears throat> but you've been putting a lot of energy and a lot of long hours and time into something here. You've got the Five of Swords reversed. And the Empress energy. There's opportunities coming your way, definitely, okay? The Five of Swords reversed, it's almost like even if it's upright or reversed, it's still the same card because... It talks about conflict and defeat in situations in your life where maybe you didn't have uh, the upper hand in the situation here uh, where people did not have your back, okay? And a lot of people like taking shots at you. But I do believe even though it's upright or sideways, whatever this, or upside down, whatever the card comes in, is that there's victory, okay? There's victory. But there's, at the same time, I'm feeling that you're getting a lot of clarity on what exactly you truly want, okay uh, like what you truly desire because there's something here you're trying to perfect and putting a lot of energy and this is venus coming in okay the empress energy it could be some of you dealing with a mother figure from the past maybe there's healing from a mother figure i do i, I am picking up on a sagittarius man or i think it's a man but it could also be a woman because 
um, I believe that they have a lot of siblings, um, and uh, there, there has been something with a mother figure that that could have passed away, and and that the person is is now starting to heal that process uh, of healing. You know, and I'm talking about like a long term. Like I'm not talking about like not just recently. I'm talking about like long time ago, like almost like 15 years ago is what I'm being told here. Um, you know, uh, but there's a healing on with this. But anyways, for others of you, this is about uh, Venus coming in. It's about love and finances and beauty. Uh, it's about new opportunities coming in. It's about creating. It's about fertility. The Empress is an energy where they put a lot of like, uh, they put out what they want. You know, like uh, I, they do their affirmations. They do the vision boards. They believe. They have faith in what's going to come to them. And yeah, this is about financial abundance. Now let's look at the possible outcome. You've got the Ace of Swords sideways, just like you did with the Four of Wands. For me, this talks about that you're on the verge, okay? You're on the verge of getting a breakthrough of a victory uh, or some type of... Uh, clarity that's going to come in and truth okay i also feel that the uh your throat chakra will be also a, a time to speak as well but it did come sideways and i did i do have to leave it this way so now let's look at the overall in the overall one more card for the overall the page of swords came out for the overall okay i'm sure you could see all the cards okay Ray, are you okay? Sorry, he keeps whimpering. It's because that he's wearing a comb, um, a comb uh, around his uh, head, and uh, I think he's really fed up. <laughs> okay, Ray, are you okay? Ray, it's okay. Another week. All right, the Page of Swords in the overall is about new ideas taking place. There could be new ideas that are coming through. There's a, like a clearing that's taking place here, a breakthrough, uh, where there's a lot of great ideas that are taking place. There could be someone also watching you on social media if they want to collaborate with you, if you have a business here, okay, that's going to bring you some sort of abundance. And like, I also see a lot of communication taking place, someone that's very like chatty or uh, they're very like, uh, they like to communicate, all right? So now we're going to clarify the cards for you. Okay, which deck am I going to use? I'm going to use my Italian deck. There we go. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, all these cards came out. I'm going to just show them to you, but I'm going to put them back in the deck as I was shuffling because it's important when cards come out like this that there's something that spirit wants to show here for someone out there. Okay, you have the devil, which is Capricorn. This could be Saturn. The Ten of Wands. Now, Saturn could be that you are dealing with a Capricorn energy or you have Capricorn in your chart. Or it could also mean that this is Saturn that was testing you at this time, that was giving you a hard time. And uh, with the Ten of Wands, you got it twice in the reading. Like, uh, there's something here. There's gonna some type of clearing Maybe you were stuck in negativity. There could have been thoughts, patterns, addictions here, okay, that took place. Um, I feel like uh, with the king of wands and energy, you're going after what you want, okay? This is about leadership. This is a, whether you're a male or a female. Oops, sorry. Well, you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. In the energy of the king of wands is someone that takes leadership, that takes control, that sees the bigger picture and everything. And they truly go after what they want, you know? Uh, but again here, uh, there's some type of secrecy in the situation here. Yeah, there's some type of secrecy, okay? There, there could be secrets. There could be lies in the situation that you're dealing with here. And what it's showing me is that someone here is walking away from a certain situation because they can't get clarity. And with the Queen of Cups reversed here, someone here is not prepared to give. They're not able to. They're not able to give. Okay, they're not emotionally available at this time. I don't know what it means for someone out there. Okay, so I didn't have to put that out for somebody. And now let's continue. I'm going to clarify in which, the cards in which you wants me to clarify for you. Okay. Let's see. 
at my beautiful subjects. Let's look at this Eight of Swords and energy in the first row. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Three of Wands. Card, Neptune and Pisces and the Seven of Swords. Okay, let me tell you something. Whatever it is that uh, Sagittarius that you've been feeling stuck about, whatever that you've been feeling like you were trapped or could be even self-talk, but for some of you that you felt stuck in a situation here, let me just clarify something. This is Neptune and Pisces, okay? And this is the Seven of Swords. There's secrets, there's lies, there's deception here, there's illusion. There's uncertainty about the future, maybe in how you in to move forward from something here. And um, there's a need to there's a need to reflect because there's lack of clarity, but you need to push through the illusion. Okay? You need to push through the illusion in a situation in your life, or whatever this situation is, whether you've been keeping quiet about something or someone has been keeping quiet, there's Pisces and energy. With the Three of Wands, it's very good news. Why? Because the Three of Wands moves you forward into your manifestations. You're going to be free. You're not going to be able, you're not going to be like the Two of Wands, which uh, you're making plans, and uh, but something is still holding you back. This is like you're going full force out. Okay, and this is what it shows me. Your manifestations are here, and it's, it talks about success, and talks about maybe for some of you could be overseas opportunities. Ray, you can't touch the camera, Ray. Watch it, Ray. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ray almost went. Okay. So your ships are coming in. Something about the ships coming in, but it's also about moving forward. Okay. Now let's look at the Knight of Cups reversed. You got the Five of Cups reversed. The Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. So what's happening here is that whoever year was the Knight of Cups reversed, the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords talks about an ending of a cycle. This was a lesson, a huge lesson for some of you out there. Okay, um, the Five of Cups reverse actually is really good because that means that you accepted something and from the Six of Cups shows you that you healed and from all this, okay, that you went through, you're stepping into a renewal of yourself. It could be that, uh, you know, it's, uh, you could be feeling happier. You will be feeling happier. You're going to feel more contented. It could be a lot of love and support around you or family harmony or friendships or like community. Uh, you, there's new emotions that are taking place here within you as well. Um, your heart is being restored here, Sagittarius. And for others of you, this could also mean there's a soulmate energy. And the soulmate energy does not only have to do about be about love. It could be about anything, okay? Now, let's take a card for the Six of Cups here. You got, again, the same card. So for me, for some of you out here, which confirms to me here is that the healing a lot of you had to do was with a loss of a mother, a grandmother, it could have been like an, an older sister or some. There was a loss here in the past, even though like it doesn't show me, but it, I feel it in the energy. And there is healing on from that. Okay, there is healing on from a mother figure. There's a mother figure here very strong in the reading. Okay. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles reversed. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here? You got three three the nine of wands yeah there's something here that now it could be a mother figure or for others of you this could be also love and finances okay these new opportunities i feel that a lot of you wow you you had you had a, you had a lot of challenges that you had to overcome there was a something here that, that destructed or like something here that crumbled or something that was not teamwork there was not enough teamwork there was not a strong foundation and I feel that you put you're very cautious at this time 
or, or in the recent past till now anyways, you're really cautious. You could be still very cautious and you, you are setting your boundaries, but you're very persistent in moving forward, which you do have the 10 of wands here, which you're at the end. So this is about completion that's taking place, okay? Completion. Now, let's look at the nine of pentacles here. You do have number 99. Okay, and you have a lot of threes. You have four threes on the ground. You've got three tens. Actually, one, two, three, four tens. Okay, so let's look at the nine of pentacles here. You got the king of pentacles reversed. The four of pentacles. And the Ace of Cups came in for you. So yeah, there's been a lot of work here in the situation. Maybe it was in your finances. Maybe you weren't feeling stable. You weren't feeling prosperous. But you did a lot of work on yourself. And you did. You are very independent. And it does show up that there is abundance around you or financial security. But there's still something that you're holding on to very tightly here. Something that you're having a hard time letting go of. But the more work that you're putting in yourself, okay? The Ace of Cups is showing up for a reason. The Ace of Cups talks about abundance, okay? But it's also about forgiveness. It's also about unconditional love, okay, in the frequency. Not just saying, I love you, right? Not just in that, that way. But it's about, like, your heart is going to feel very overwhelmed, but it's going to be very peaceful. There could be news of a pregnancy, celebration. There could be new love that's coming in. But for me, the Ace of Cups signifies that the universe is ready to give you this abundance that you deserve, Okay, there was something that was unstable here in the past. Now, let's look at this four of wands uh, sideways here. Let's see why it's sideways. You got the two of wands. The fool. Is this the fool? No. Uh, the magician reversed. Not two. The Eight of Swords. You're feeling stuck about something, okay? There's something you're feeling stuck about. You're making plans, okay? You're making a lot of progress, progress and decisions, but something is not moving forward here, okay? You're feeling stuck. You're feeling in your head about something. Maybe some of you feel that you can't manifest. You can't achieve the things that you want. Remember, the Four of Wands is sideways, right? It's just, it's, it's just on the verge of going towards this way, okay? It all depends. It could also go this way. It all depends on how you are seeing the situation. And um, your card came out, or you could be dealing with another Sagittarius. It's about patience, my dear. You know, it's about moderation. It's about finding a middle ground in a situation. That's just what I feel. And it's about choosing carefully, and it's also about communication. Now, let's look at the sun reversed with the Ten of Wands upright. You got the Lovers, Gemini. The Nine of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. These are the cards that came out. La Papessa reversed. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Hold on a second. There's a hidden motivation or hidden motivation. There's a hidden factor, okay? Something that is hidden and I find in a situation that, that you're dealing with or you're dealing with a Gemini. If not, some of you are not trusting your intuition in the current energy, okay? You're not, uh, or something is being revealed to you. Either or someone is not trusting themselves, but there could be some, some type of like uh, motive. Someone, there's someone out there, like there's some type of motive. I, I, I have the word on the tip of my tongue, tongue and it doesn't want to come out. Uh, a hidden motive here from a situation that could also be. Uh, and it could be from a uh, Gemini. If not, it's not Gemini. This talk about, uh, it talks about a lot of uh, partnership or romance, lovers, friends. It could be anybody around you that don't really have your back. And there's choices that you have to make. There is a wish fulfillment that you truly desire, whether it's love, material, health. It's here for you. But a lot of you feel that you don't deserve it. I don't know. I'm just picking up someone not wanting, feeling that they're lacking something here. 
you know, and uh, something that is like, I feel some like there's some type of stagnation that's been stuck for a while because you have a lot of threes on the ground, you know, uh, and so for me, it, uh, there's some type of catalyst that has to take place here. You know, maybe you're feeling what you're lacking of. Maybe you, some of you are not making, you feel like you're not making enough or there's probably could have been financial loss or feeling left out. Um, you've been doing a lot of hard work in a situation, but you're not seeing the results again. Sp Spirit is saying there will be, trust me, there will be, but they want you to have faith and they want you to have patience. Okay, it's important. Patience is a virtue. Now, let's look at the Eight of Pentacles. You got the five of wands. There's been a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, maybe arguments, disagreements, competition, uh, whatever the case is, it's, there's been a lot and you've been trying to perfect something. You wanna make something very original here. I have the King of Cups reversed and I also have the King of Pentacles reversed here. Uh, there's definitely someone that is not able to give at this time, whether it doesn't matter if it's a king or a queen or if you're male or female in the energy, is someone here that is not able to give at this time, okay? Not able to, not able to express themselves, not able to give. They're really bearing themselves in work here. And, um, but I do see that uh, whoever this person, whether it's you or someone that you're dealing with, someone is working on the plan here and they're moving very slowly, but they're planning ahead. Now, let's look at the Five of Swords reversed. Why is this Five of Swords reversed for my beautiful Sajis? You do have a lot of fives. You have a lot. Uh, you have two nines on the ground. Ooh. Threes, tens. Here we go. There's a there's a fresh start and there's a new beginning. There's a new journey that's beckoning for you, if you take that leap of faith. Okay, so there is a new beginning here. Now, Ikado is the, is uh, the chariot reversed. And the Eight of Cups. So someone here, there's something that, the Eight of, okay, so when I see cards like this, it just signifies to me that whatever that you walked away from, whatever the situation was, that you overcame it, okay? So you overcame it. Some of you want things done, like want something right now, and <laughs> Spirit's like, no, that's not how it goes. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer. If not, this is you, in, in, or you have uh, Cancer in your chart. Like this could also mean that um, you're not taking your power back. Though they're, at, they're telling you that there's a new beginning taking place here, okay? And you could go, take a leap of faith. Some of you are not. You're not taking control. You're not taking your power back. You're not wanting to move forward. You're, it could be that you're stuck in a situation here. But again, the moon card, uh, the, um, the full card signifies that there is a new beginning. Let's look at the Empress here. You got the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of worry here. You know, and worry is a waste of energy and time. So you cannot sleep at night. Okay, it could be anxiety. You have fear. You know, fear is an illusion. Remember that. So, but there's also a breaking point. So we're going to look at this nine of swords. Okay, let's see. You got the ten of wands. Yeah, okay. The queen of cups. She's coming out. Okay. And the Six of Pentacles. There's something that you're going to be receiving here. And I do see also that you're going to come into balance. Like, you know, you're going to be in balance. Whatever this thing is here, where you put a lot of hard work into it, where you're tired, you're exhausted here. You're There's been a lot of obstacles, you know, maybe in, in love and finances or with a mother figure here and you no know, sleepless nights maybe this is a mother reaching out to, to someone out there okay but i do see that there's a lot of love here there's a lot of love and compassion okay and uh you are going to be receiving something is coming into balance for you and you are going to be receiving with the six of pentacles now let's look at this uh ace do you see this card yeah so this ace of swords here uh sideways and let's look at uh, Okay, you have a lot. You have the Four of Swords, followed by the Seven of Wands, the Five of Swords, okay, and the Aquarian Energy. So yeah, it, it just shows that uh, there was a lot of challenges that you overcame here, okay? you were you A lot of you faced your fears, your competition, whatever it was here. Um, there was a lot of betrayal. 
conflict and betrayal and defeat. You know, and uh, but I do see that there was like some type of victory. You overcame it. And some of you at this time are taking time out to rest, to heal your body, mind, and spirit, and to gain that clarity. And that's why this is sideways, because some of you haven't having clean like seen the clarity or the breakthrough or the truth yet, but it will come in very, very soon. And with that, you got the Aquarius energy, okay, the star. There is a wish that's coming true here for you. I know it's cliche to say that, but it is the truth. That's what the star card is all about. It's about hope. It's about restoring faith, uh, being optimistic. Uh, there's happiness here. Um, for those of you that haven't been feeling well, I do see that you are going to start feeling better. Uh, but definitely here, um, there is a renewal that's taking place in the month of August for you. Okay, and one card for the overall energy with the Page of Swords. You got the King of, uh, of Pentacles reversed. The Knight of Cups reversed like you had over here. unfinished business tying up loose ends or you haven't made that closure yet that you need okay someone here is not able to give or offer at this time the arrival of a person maybe wasn't coming in someone here is being humbled with the king of uh, uh humbled down i see like a humbling taking place but someone here right now that's not feeling stable okay in the current energy and with the world reversed here, it just shows that there's on, on, like maybe so you need to finish, you know, uh, maybe you need to get that clarification. Maybe you need uh, you need closure and you have to make your own closure. Uh, but whatever the case here is, is that there is some type of message coming in. And uh, yes, there will be a message coming in for you. OK, and underneath the deck, I have the page again of uh, swords. So definitely here, there is some type of message coming in. Someone that's been watching you maybe on social media. This is someone that is uh, very, it, it, they're, they're getting clear on what they need to say. This could be also you in energy, but I believe that this is someone else that's coming in that is uh, curious and they want to chat here. But there is some definitely, there's something that's uh, pivoting here for you. It's very nice in energy. And now, last but not least, I will take out a card from your guardian angel to see what is the message that they want to give you. Sagittarius, I hope that you uh, enjoyed your reading. Okay, you have two of them here. First one you have, actually you have three cards from your guardian angel. First one <clears throat> is transformation. Your relationship with one another is about the, to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And this is your card. It's beautiful, right? Transformation. So we'll put this right here for you. The next one is this card here. It's it's a very pretty card. I don't know if you see the artwork on it. I hope it's not so dark. Anyways, it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And last but not least, you got the dove. Isn't that beautiful? Peace energy, peaceful resolution. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be re uh, revealed. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Sagittarius. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, together we are love. Together we are one. Together we are light. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.